Felix Antoine Shisekedi Shilombo is a Congolese politician who has been the president of the Democratic Republic of the Congo since 25 January 2019. He is the leader of the Union for Democracy and Social Progress, the DRC's oldest and largest party, succeeding his late father Etienne Shisekedi in that role. A three-time prime minister of Zaire and opposition leader during the reign of Mobutu Sezi Seko. Shisekedi was the UDPS party's candidate for president in the December 2018 general election, which he won, despite accusations of irregularities from several election monitoring organizations and other opposition parties. The Constitutional Court of the DRC upheld his victory after another opposition politician, Martin Feyulu, challenged the result, but Shisekedi has been accused of making a deal with his predecessor. Joseph Kabila. The election marked the first peaceful transition of power since the state became independent from Belgium in 1960, since the Common Front for Congo coalition, which is aligned with Kabila, still controlled the parliament and provincial governorships. Shisekedi's ability to govern or even appoint a new prime minister was limited for the first six months of his term. He named his coalition partner and political heavyweight. Vital Kamete, as his chief of cabinet, at first having designated him prime minister but not having the parliamentary support to get him appointed. In May 2019 he arrived at a deal with the parliament's Kabila-aligned majority to appoint Sylvester Ilunga prime minister. On July 27, 2019, negotiations finally ended between Shisekedi and the parliament, agreeing on the formation of a new cabinet. Shisekedi, a member of the Luber ethnic group, was born in Kinshasa on 13 June 1963 to mother martyr and father Etienne Shisekedi, who served as Prime Minister of Zaire in the 1990s. He had a comfortable life as a youth in the capital, but when his father created the UDPS in the early 1980s, publicly opposing Mobutu, Felix was forced to accompany him into house arrest in his native village in central Kasai. This put his studies on hold. In 1985, Mobutu allowed him, his mother, and his brothers to leave Kasai. He went on to live in Brussels, Belgium, where he worked at odd jobs and became an active UDPS member. In late 2008, Shisekedi was named the UDPS National Secretary for External Relations. In November 2011, he obtained a seat in the National Assembly representing the city of Ambuji Mai in Kasai Oriental Province. He did not take his seat, citing a fraudulent election, and his mandate was invalidated for absenteeism. In May 2013, he refused a position of rapporteur at the Independent National Electoral Commission, saying that he did not want to put his political career on hold as CENI's Article 17 excludes membership for those who are members of a political formation. In October 2016, Shisekedi became Vice Secretary General of the UDPS. On 31 March 2018, he was elected to lead the UDPS. After his father's death on 1 February 2017, the same day, the UDPS nominated him for president in the December 2018 general election. On 10 January 2019, it was announced that Shisekedi had won the presidency of the DRC in the December 2018 election. He defeated another opposition leader, Martin Feyulu, and Emmanuel Ramazani Shidri, who was supported by term-limited outgoing President Kabila, who had been president for 18 years. Feyulu, the runner-up, alleged rigging and challenged the election results. On 19 January, the Constitutional Court dismissed the challenge, officially making Shisekedi president-elect. He was sworn in as president on 24 January 2019, taking office the next day. This marked the first time since the Congo gained independence in 1960 that an incumbent president peacefully transferred power to the opposition. On 20 January, South Africa congratulated Shisekedi on his election despite the African Union and EU warning off. Doubts over the result announced by the Constitutional Court. After Shisekedi was sworn in, it was reported that a member of Kabila's coalition would be picked to serve as his prime minister. On 13 March 2019, 
Shisekedi signed a decree to pardon approximately 700 prisoners, including imprisoned political opponents of Kabila, and this decision followed his promise to allow the return of exiles given the week before. In early 2019, negotiations were underway between Shisekedi and Kabila's FCC coalition that controlled the National Assembly and Senate. In late April, June Afrique reported that Kabila proposed to Shisekedi the mining company executive Albert Yuma. As a candidate for prime minister, Yuma supports the new mining code adopted in 2018, which put the DRC in dispute with international mining companies. And Shisekedi has been under foreign pressure to not appoint him. The Civil Society of South Kivu recommended to Shisekedi the appointment of his chief of staff, Vital Kamete as prime minister. For months, Shisheke, 